Carroll, Illinois. We are coming to you live today to present our newest house, 4755 Sassafras Lane in the beautiful Ashwood Park subdivision. Before we get started into the house on a tour, I thought I'd give you a little tour for the, the outside. While we're waiting for, for friends and family to join us, let's take a little tour. This home is a planned community. It has a range of custom homes within this community. It is the heart of the community is Ashwood Club, an $8 million, and here my assistant Jenna is going to help me with the camera. So Jenna, just go ahead and kind of give them a 360 of the neighborhood. So Ashwood Park is located south of 95th Street and west of 248th Street in Southern Naperville. At the heart of this planned community is Ashwood Club. It's an $8 million four season parks and rec facility that offers three pools, tennis courts, indoor basketball, indoor recreation, exercise facilities, and a clubhouse exclusively to the residents. And that, my friends, is just around the corner. Nice, easy bike ride for your little ones to go to. Also in this neighborhood is Peterson Elementary School. We are part of School District 204, Indian Prairie School District, and Peterson Elementary is housed right in the center of this community. We're so excited that this neighborhood, you could stay and enjoy and, and go to school and play right here in your own neighborhood. Also on the outside of the neighborhood is a five mile paved trail that goes all along the perimeter of the subdivision. You could bike it, you can run it, or take a nice walk in the evenings. So beautiful location. We're not far from Route 59 train station, which is just north of us. South of us is I-55 highway and the I-355 highway is just east. So perfectly located down here, just south central Naperville. Jenna, do we have some people joining us? Yes, we do. Great. Should we take a walk inside? Now, this is our virtual open house tour. I'd like to tell you a little bit about this. We will, we know that, that times are a little difficult right now and that we have some challenges that we haven't faced before. So there are also still people that need to buy and sell. So we're here for you. And we are taking precautions and we have protocols in place to help our sellers and to help our buyers come and view this home. So why don't we take a walk into this house You'll see on the outside of this house, it is a three car garage. This home was custom made in 2012 by Sterling Home Builder. We're gonna walk through the front door here. You can see there's a new construction home being built right next to us. putting my mask on as we go inside. You are welcome to write in any questions if you would like. You could text us right online here on camera or you could go to our Monarch group as well and you could text us at or call us at 630-637-0997. I'm going to put my mask on and we're going to go into this home. beautiful home has oh, has six beds, five and a half baths, is over 5,700 square feet of finished footage on the first two levels. If you look up, Jenna, show them up high. Nice high ceilings. You're peeking into the open loft with wrought irons, with wrought iron railings. Finished space with the finished basement, we're at well over 8,400 square feet of finished living space. Give you a little bit of tour here. If you would like to see something closer, feel free just to text us and let us know if you want a closer up look. This is the powder room on the first floor. Mm. 
nice, large living room here. I'm going to walk across here so you can get the size and space of this beautiful turret shape. This turret goes two floors, so you'll see the turret upstairs as well from our main loft. Must have open floor plan here. Beautiful Brazilian teak floors. Nice custom wood finishes with the wainscoting, the pillars, the, the different architectural interests throughout every home, throughout this home. You'll see this large family room area with the cathedral ceilings, floor to ceiling fireplace, little peek outside at the beautiful backyard. You'll see over to the right there is a beautiful pond. You are allowed to have fences in this neighborhood. This house is already ready with a fabulous jungle gym for the little ones. Nice trap deck there in the back. Over here, Jenna, if you want to show them close up here, we do have sense around sound in this house. Now, there are some very special features of this luxury property. They have what's called a control for home control system. And as you see in a couple of different places, there are these eye ports right here and one here. And then there's also one in the master. A control for home control system is an added feature. This family put in $90,000 in 2016 to add this home control system. It is a software product. It's not, it, there's no maintenance and it controls all the operations of the home. All TVs, the Apple TV, the Roku, security system, lighting, automatic blinds. If you take a peek in here, the automatic blinds are controlled by this. It has a voice activation system voice activation system where they utilize Alexa to turn down lights, or if they're ready for movie night, they have that pre-programmed for Alexa to turn down the lights automatically. They, it also assures that the garage doors are closed and that the, that home is ready and secure for your family. So a very nice high end control for home control system, all operated out of the palm of your hands on your phone. Let's look at this fabulous custom chef kitchen. This is a beautiful granite counter with ubel edges, as you see here. Nice three cut rounded edges. This is a huge island in the middle with a wet bar. We've got sub-zero appliances, GE profile, Wolf double built oven. Over here, we have a, um, we have a five burner gas stove with a pot filler and the must-have vent out hood. Nice little warming drawer here for those happy holiday days when you just need to warm up a little bit of food and keep it ready for the family. Big deep drop-in sink here with an ASCO dishwasher. Nice high-end appliances. Also want to point out to you, this house has a reverse osmosis system as well that the family has installed for purified water. This house was created and designed with really smart layout. Jenna, if you would like to come this way. Feel free to jump in if you have any questions or if I'm going too slow. I want to show you some of the great storage and extra little nooks and crannies here in this home. Right here, we have this great little space with storage and a nice big deep closet underneath the stairs. Then we do have a back stairway here, full pantry with a darling little pantry door. This is a, a must have, this is a must have uh, mud room. You want, Jenna, do you want to come in here? These are little shoe racks here that can be removed if you want to put boots there. Otherwise you can put the shoes on there and just let them hide. Floor to ceiling quality, um, cabinetry, quality furniture, quality cabinetry throughout in this home. Large countertop here with more storage, drop-in sink. This is all in just the mudroom. Big closet. Let's just take a quick peek out here at this fabulous garage, Jenna, if you just want to step in there. So this garage is fabulous. It has custom cabinetry here 
I don't know if you could just come down here real quick. Custom cabinetry, even with a drop center built in into the garage for everyone's special needs. It has an epoxy floor, epoxy floor. It has some nice built-in cabinetry throughout. And this is a two-car garage, and then we have a separate single-car garage. Let me show you real quick. Jenny, you can take a quick close-up look of this here. Another special feature of this luxury property here, there are two electric car chargers in this home. One is a Tesla car charger. And the other is a 220 volt car charger. Those will remain in the home. Nice, easy access to going in and out if you need to let the dog out or just want to go out for a walk without having to raise the garage doors. I want to give you a special tour of this great space over here. So this is a flex room. It could be a multi-purpose room depending on what your family needs. Here we have a full bath with a nice step-in shower attached to this full space here. This could be a family office center. This could be a, a, a sixth bedroom or a fifth bedroom on the first floor. It could be a full in-laws quarters. We have a nice big closet here with built-ins that is available. We have a nice, beautiful furniture grade cabinetry that's built in. This, Jenna, if you could get a size of this, an idea of this size. This is fabulous. This is built in. This can be removed if you wanted to put, make this into a full bedroom and suite for the in-laws. But it's fabulous as it is for a family, for a family manager center, um, however you would like to use it. And it also has a private entrance here. Maybe you have an at-home business where you want somebody to come in and out directly to the office. That's available as well. Okay? Any questions? We do have a question from Asif about the kitchen fridge. Is it a sub-zero fridge? Yes, it is. Thank you, Asif, for asking that question. We maybe could get even a closer look. It is a very beautiful high-end sub-zero fridge, double door. And like all people, we like to take a peek what's in the refrigerator. And there is some food in here, right here. Nice and organized freezer and refrigerator, okay? I also want to point out that this house is also a very energy conscious house. In addition to the electric car chargers, it also has a series of solar panels on the ceiling. In fact, the family invested $70,000 to put 62 solar panels on there. What that means to you, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, is that you will have an instant savings for money, uh, of money. It generally, it generates about $1,400 or 13 megawatts of energy every year. Plus, Illinois is paying you to use green and alternative sources of energy. So with that payment and the $1,400 savings, you can expect a return of approximately $2,900 a year on your electric energy service. Okay, should we go upstairs? This is the main stairway that will go to the second floor and also to the basement. We'll take you on a tour of the basement shortly. Just take a quick tour down here to the left. This is a fabulous, fabulous loft space that can be a playroom, can be another office, could be a great workout space. Could be a nice little private reading room, however you would like to use it. It does have those cozy chart windows, so you can just kind of dissolve in it with a book in front of the window there. Over on this side, as you look down, we have the master at the end. We have en suite at the left and the Jack and Jill suite here. So we're gonna go this way, Jen. So I mentioned that this control four system controls all of the systems in the house, including the lighting. 
They have a Lutron lighting system that works with turning on all the lights, all on, all off. All the lighting is also can be on a timer and controlled by your phone. These particular closet lights are on a timer so that when the little ones forget to turn off the closet light, it remembers by itself. Nice and convenient. Take a quick peek at the beautiful built-ins as well. Nice high windows. There are blinds on all the windows as well. Great views out of every window. How many bedrooms is in here again? Do anyone know? There are six bedrooms with the bedroom in the basement. So four on the second floor, one possibly on the, the main floor, which is that flex room, and then a bedroom in the basement. Now I want to point out this fabulous layout here. A traditional Jack and Jill bathroom are sharing the toilet room and the tub. Here, this has been completely separated. So you can be in the um, shower or you could be uh, taking a bath or helping your little ones get settled here while the other ones are using the toilet room. Nice double sink vanity here as well with a granite composite countertop. Beautiful cabinetry throughout. Nice high lighting as well. And then it brings us right into this next Jack and Jill room. Great little cabinetry here as well. In every bedroom, there's a little seating area. Okay, I'm gonna take a peek through this closet here, Jen. And then we'll move right across to the ensuite here. Sweet. This could be a uh, guest room. This could be uh, maybe the oldest kid's room. This is a room where it has its own bathroom attached to the bedroom. And it has a nice walk-in closet as well here. Step and shower. The top floor. Same custom cabinetry as well. Now, with ease of access, this family designed to have this laundry room on the second floor. A must have them when you have the space to utilize. Darling little laundry closet door for opening that up. Fabulous laundry room. But Jen, I wanted you to come in here and see. In addition to these duet front load washers, we have this huge um, folding station along with storage cabinetry. Nice, big, deep utility tub. But look down here. This is something that you probably will not see in very many houses. This is a full drying room. It has custom drawers with the mesh where you can lay out a sweater and let it dry. There are three and a fourth shelf down there. We've got a nice pull-out rod here to hang up clothes, as well as a nice drying rack as well. And then right behind you is a built-in ironing board. So everything you need to take care of your clothes right here. Nice and convenient. Okay, to the right, Jenna, and we'll, I will point out there is a nice big linen closet here. I'd be happy to open it up. People would like to take a little peek. Nice and deep. Plenty of storage and it goes just around the corner. Let's walk this way. Another iPort launching station. Now, this is um, this is also a charger for the iPad, um, and it could it could charge right on there. But then you can also set it up so that it works with your um, home floor control system. Nice, fabulous uh, master bedroom here. This is a very smart layout as well, which is very custom. 
And if you'll take a quick walk here, often when we have two working parents, we have someone that is going to be sleeping in, maybe someone that's gonna be getting up early or a different time. This, is, this layout is very conducive to accommodating needs so that somebody does not need to be disturbed early in the morning. We have a question from Denise. She wants to know what is this house being sold for? Hi, Denise. The, this house is being sold for a million twenty-five thousand. Okay. Here's a nice little custom cabinetry closet as well with granite counters. It does have a small jewelry drawers, organizing space on both sides of the island, a little bench as well. It has a laundry drop center here so you can Hide your laundry. Okay, let's continue this way. So as you step in this bathroom, Jenna Jean, you're gonna notice, but the floors are heated, nice and cozy, heated floors throughout the master bath here. A fabulous shower. This is a triple head shower with Carrera tile. You'll see marble accents throughout with a peek through window here to the rest of the master bath. Double sinks with granite countertops. Again, lots of beautiful cabinetry throughout. Nice big Whirlpool tub here with, it could be, it's a deep soaking tub also with the Whirlpool jets. Separate makeup vanity here. Doing a great job, Jen. This is my photographer girl. She's doing awesome. <laughs> Just trying not to make anyone dizzy. Here's a, the toilet room here. And then this is another little fab, fab, um, fabulous find here. This is your own private gym. It has its own countertop here for all and cabinetry for storage. The TV will uh, convey with the house, the TV stays. Nice high ceilings for your treadmills and, and walkers. Okay. Chuck wants to know, is this a dual master bedroom setup? It could be. Certainly this could be a, a, a bedroom space if you needed it. However, Chuck, there is no closet in this space. So this family set it up originally to be an exercise space. But certainly room, you can see how far I'm standing over here from where Jen is at. Certainly room where you could put, if you needed to put a bed here, you could put a bed here. Um, probably a full bed would be a good size in here with a little space here for walking. But it's primarily, a, a, a was set up to established to be a gym area, a private gym. Okay. Anybody want to take a closer look on the second floor? Okay. Jen, I'm just going to ask you to point down. This is the second stairway that takes us to the kitchen. We're going to go back down to the main stairway and take this to the basement. We will be doing several virtual live tours online. You can watch our live tours online through our Facebook Monarch group. We will be posting them from time to time and we'll be, we will be advertising them. You could go to our Facebook group to see which live streams are coming up. We do have one following this one at two o'clock. My associate Chris Baum will be leading a virtual tour in a downtown row house duplex of new construction in downtown Naperville. If you haven't seen that home yet, you must stay tuned. Jenna, should we go down? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now this is a fabulous finished basement. It is over 3,000 square feet. Most of the basement is finished. And this family has, has put a lot of thought into this um, basement as well in terms of finishings. It is a walkout basement. 
If you scan this way, Jenna, you'll be able to see. You can walk right out to the backyard here, so you'll be able to entertain in the backyard, on the back patio, or the deck, and invite your friends down in here as well. Another added feature, this floor is also heated, as well as the full bath. This is a beautiful kitchenette, and Jenna, if you just want to kind of walk around here to kind of get a close-up of this space in here. There's also a TV here that will convey with the home. Stunning granite countertops here with a wet sink. Some nice bar accessories here to store and display all of your, um, your, uh, your, your um, cups and, and designer wear. This, we have a little refrigerator here, and we have a beverage wine uh, cabinet here as well. Wine cooler. We have a question from Asif. He wants to know how many fireplaces, and are they all gas burning? Hi, Asif. Thanks for that question. Yeah, we have two fireplaces, and they are all gas. Okay, one in the family room, and the other is in the main floor office. And then, Jenna, if you could just kind of peek here, you'll get a good view of the walkout basement that goes directly up to the patio. And this family spends lots of time entertaining in the backyard. Okay, and so that would allow for the, these daylight windows here. We'll show you how tall. I'm going to stand over in front of these windows. These are also have the automatic blinds that are controlled Jenna, if you just want to stand over there just a little bit so people can see how tall this is. See how tall the ceilings are here? And it does have the automatic blinds controlled by Alexa and voice activated for your movie nets. Chuck wants to know, is there a dishwasher in this downstairs bar? There's not a dishwasher. I would think there would certainly be some room to add one. Just if you look over, Jenna, see all the cabinetry there and you already have the plumbing in, it would be very easy to add a dishwasher right over next to this little sink. Okay. Looking ahead, we have a movie theater here where it, they have sense around sound. They have a widescreen TV, and I'm going to get you some statistics here real quick. Um, this is a 10-foot theater wide screen and stage. And it does have a widescreen 3D capable projector. Lots of storage in this house. When you have a finished basement, you're looking for extra storage. So let me show you the storage as well. So this is storage that is locked right now. Sorry, the family might have some things in there. Let me show you some of the other storage here. So the family wanted to have storage where the kids could access without having to go into the dusty parts of the, of the utility space. So this is one little space that they created and made great use of space for, for hiding toys and books. This is one of the utility spaces here where they are storing extra tile. You'll see the beautiful um, high ceilings there on the wall. and the blown-in cellulose insulation. This home does have a dual zone HVAC and air conditioning. It also has a radon mitigation system, a passive radon, radon mitigation system in it. Come on in this way, Jenna. You're gonna feel the warm floors again. Nice slate floor, beautiful step-in full shower with a bench, granite countertops here and attached directly to the sixth bedroom. Okay, again, you're gonna see that turret shape all the way down onto this floor as well. Nice big closet here in this bedroom for more storage. Storage here under in two different places, directly in here that's been finished, and then you have more storage under the stairs. And 
then follow me here. Here's where you'll see all the operations of the media system. We, they do use a Sonus system as well for media. The Control 4 system uses all of the, the wired, the hardwired throughout, through all of the speaker systems. Sorry, all of this, <laughs> the mm. this is another very nice finished storage space. And then I'm going to take you right into the utility room here. And Jenna, if you can just scan and show these people the dual zone, high efficiency furnaces that are trained, efficiency furnaces, furnaces, the beautiful insulated walls. It is a 400 amp wattage system, nice hot water heater. And this is the passive radon system uh, that's already in place in all new construction. We do have a sump pump and a backup sump pump with it. That is the ejector pit. And that is our home. If you have questions, you're, you're welcome to text me directly at 630-835-6487. Or you can reach out to our office as well for our private tour. We'd love to get you in to see this home. And our office number is 630-827, sorry, 630-627-0997. Or you can reach us at monarchre.com or go through our Facebook group. What's the phone number one more time? I'm going to put it the in the comments. phone number one more time is 630-637-0997. Anyone have any last questions that I can answer? Is the backyard fenced? Let's go take a quick peek and we'll walk right out there to show you. The backyard is not fenced, but you certainly can add fences in this neighborhood. neighborhood so you can see you can have fences there is an HOA the HOA is 1460 annually and that includes direct and full access to the the Ashwood Club okay why don't we go back inside and I'll give you one more tour upstairs for one quick look We have another question from Asif. He wants to know if there's a sprinkler system. Good question, Asif. Is there a sprinkler system? Yes, there is. There's a sprinkler system that controls both the front and the back. Let's take the, someone wanted to take a closer look at this office. Let's take a deep look into this office here. Here's where that second fireplace is that Asa was asking about earlier. Notice the beautiful paling on the side. Notice the coffered ceilings. Notice how they have these stunning windows that are framed out by this beautiful cabinetry. And those are the electric windows or the electric blinds as well. See this closet right here? Nice and deep with built-in cabinetry. Chuck wants to know, what school district is this house? This is Indian Prairie School District 204, which is Naperville School District. 
Peterson Elementary, Scullin Middle School, and Wabonsa Valley High School. So again, follow us on Facebook. Thank you for coming and joining our virtual tour. For weekly market updates, mortgage information, and other virtual tours, go to our Facebook at Monarch Group, and you'll see all the latest activities going on with our organization and our listings. Now stay tuned for at two o'clock, just a few minutes away, Chris Baum, my associate, will be giving you a virtual tour of our new construction duplex in downtown Naperville at 819 North Center Street. Thank you so much. I hope to see you again, virtually. Stay healthy.